Hi, it's me again, and after a long freeze of the license fee, today it's finally gone up. And it's quite fitting that they chose April Fool's Day to do it, because the license fee is an absolute joke, full stop, isn't it? There's a bit of misinformation going around about it today, so I thought we could talk about it, and maybe that you've noticed it's gone up today from the papers and that, and you're thinking, oh, maybe I can cancel it, and you've read some of this nonsense that's in the papers. Maybe it scared you into thinking otherwise, and maybe I can persuade you that you can actually cancel your license fee. Let's have a look at some of the some of the main articles that I found, because there was this one in the sun, look. Scrap it now, cry furious Brits as TV license fee goes up today, and even ex-BBC boss says it needs to change. Yeah, but not change in the way we'd like it to change. Change as in they want rich people to pay more or it to become a tax. We won't talk about that here. What I did want to mention about this one article here was this. You know, if you're thinking of cancelling it because it's gone out or you can't afford it or it's a political stance for you, whatever your reason is, you're going to look into it. And trying to get clear and concise information from any mainstream media source or the TV licensing website itself is completely impossible because they don't want it to be clear and concise. They want you confused because that sells licenses. This is a good example of that. Look, everyone who watches TV in the UK needs to pay their annual license fee which counts for any live TV or anything BBC iPlayer or any device. If you don't have one, it's a criminal offence and you could be landed with a fine of £1,000. But Brits are less than happy about paying more for the fee, blah, blah, blah. Was that clear? To you, it was about as clear as mud to me. Everyone who watches TV in the UK needs to pay their annual licence fee. Well, that's not true, is it? Which counts for any live TV... So... If I watch TV, do I need a license, or is it just live TV or anything on iPlayer, The Sun? I'll tell you my situation, if you're new to this channel here. For 10 years, I haven't paid the TV license fee, and I watch loads of telly. I'm always watching the telly. I like a bit of the telly, but I don't require a license fee. So as long as you don't watch or record anything as it's being broadcast on any channel, or access BBC iPlayer to watch BBC stuff you don't require a telly license. So I watch ITVX quite regularly. I watch all four quite regularly. I can watch whatever I want, whenever I want to watch it, as long as I don't watch it as it's being broadcast. This includes YouTube. This includes Amazon Prime. This includes Discovery Plus. This includes Netflix, if you have all of those things. You can watch all that TV. Everyone who watches TV in the UK needs to pay the license fee. It's wrong. It's wrong, and it's confusing people. And the reason this information gets out there, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know I'll be on a rant about it in a minute. The BBC pay multi-million pound contracts to PR agencies to keep it confusing, to keep people paying the licence fee, because they're in the business of selling TV licences. I mean, there's this one here. Is the April increase to BBC TV licence fee fair? Vote now. I think you can guess which way I voted on this, but we'll come to that. There was another little paragraph in here, which is the one I wanted to talk about. And if my eyes are a bit red, I'm sorry, I've got something in me. Hang on. The funds generated by the TV licence fee are said to support the creation of BBC programmes and services and those who watch TV live, as well as those who stream BBC iPlayer. You must pay the annual cost. Okay, so the funds generated by the TV licence fee are said to support the creation of BBC programmes and services. Now, I challenge you now to go to your favourite website that has TV listings on it. There are many. And you have a look at BBC One and BBC Two's TV listings today. And you see how many of them have the little R next to the name for repeat. There's a lot. If you want to know, where is it? I've got a bloody another page here. Here we go. Right. Uh, BBC to slash 100 hours of TV this year. But licence fee rises to highest Ever. I think it's actually more like a thousand hours of new programming they're wasting this year. But your license fee goes to support creation of new programming. Do you want to see some of the new programming that your uh, your TV license fee goes to? BBC's Race Across the World. They're going to pay some people to travel the uh, to travel the world. That sounds Race Across the World is an a episode by 60 minute series produced by Studio Lampart, Lambert. So it's not even made by the BBC. How about this one? BBC confirms new Gladiators order. Now, it's quite a popular show. Fair play to them. 
but it's not made by the BBC. They've bought it in. Hit sports entertainment show Gladiators, made by Hungry Bear Media and MGM. That's not part of the BBC. The BBC don't make a lot of shows. Many of the shows that you think are BBC shows aren't. They're made by BBC Studios, which is a commercial wing of the BBC, who sell these shows back to the BBC for your licence fee payer money. The BBC make very little, very little. EastEnders, if you like that sort of thing. Is that worth your £169.50 a year, is it? BBC chiefs are considering replacing the flat rate levy under a progressive system. People could pay different amounts depending on income. Why? It's absolute nonsense. They want it to become some kind of tax so that people like me and hopefully you can't avoid paying it. But Netflix are okay with me not currently having my Netflix subscription. I cancelled it a couple of months ago. I watched everything I wanted to watch. Maybe in a couple of months I'll take it back. Have they been sending me threatening letters? No. Have Netflix threatened to send the boys round to my house to intimidate me into paying their subscription fee? No. So why is the BBC doing it? How are other channels supporting themselves? Through advertising or through subscription? Both things that the BBC do do and could do more of. If you're new to this and you don't know, BBC and BBC Studios, its commercial wing, owns 100% of UK TV, so Dave Gold and all that. They also own 100% of Britbox International. So Dave Gold and all that are over there showing BBC shows with adverts on them to help fund that network of channels. Over here, Britbox International is selling subscriptions to fund shows and the service. But over here in the middle, you've got the BBC saying, we want £169.50 a year off you because we're a national institution. We deserve it. But ITV's over there making their own money and doing quite well. Channel 4's over there making its own money. Not doing quite so well, but they're surviving. Even Channel 5, which shows tat constantly, have survived all these years just showing adverts. But the BBC can't do it. In 2023, the BBC's total income from the licence fee was £3.74 billion. Billion. Have a look at the GDP of countries. There are countries that operate on a less money than that a year. But the BBC are skin. And that only makes up 65% of the BBC's total income. Total income of £5.73 billion. But they're always screaming that they're skin. They might be skin, but they're building these new buildings up in Manchester, which are costing millions. They might be skin, but they just spent over £80 million on a new EastEnders set. They might be skin, but their head office is in one of the most expensive parts of London. But they're skin. Anyway, where was these poll results? They're on here somewhere. So, do you think the April price increase to the BBC licence fee is fair? Vote in our poll and have your say in the comment. If you want to vote in this, I'll put the link in the description. Go and have a look. I voted in it. I think you can guess which way I went, but the numbers... Are they surprising? I don't know. Look, there you go. Is the April increase of Easy Nice to be fair? Yes, 3%. No, 97%. Yeah, I just don't understand the fairness in the system. So you've got to pay the BBC £169.50 in order to watch broadcast TV, but not just BBC stuff. If you want to watch ITV as it's being broadcast, you want to watch Coronation Street tonight or whatever is your poison on there, You've got to pay the BBC in order to do that. You want to watch Channel 5, you want to watch Sky Sports, you want to watch Discovery Channel, you want to do any of that, you have to pay the BBC in order to do it. How did the BBC get the monopoly on this? None of that money goes to the other channels, but you have to pay it in order to watch those other channels. In what world is that a fair and right and just system? It doesn't make any sense. All the other channels, all the other services manage to stand on their own to feet. Why is the BBC put on a pedestal and told you're special? We'll tax the public directly just for your survival, BBC, because you're so, so special. Because you're not so special, are you? What do you think about this? Do you currently pay your licence fee? If you do, are you thinking about 
cancelling it. Because I've got loads of videos on this channel. Go and flick through some of the videos on this channel. There's lots of advice ones, not just me ranting about stuff I've seen in the news. I reckon you can watch 90% of the stuff you'd watch anyway without paying the TV license fee. And let's not forget, without when you go, when you flick to streaming and stuff like that, you can watch whatever you want to watch whenever you want to watch. You ain't got to wait till Thursday at 8 or whenever your favourite show is on. It's It's better. It's more freeing. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. While you're down there, leaving your comment, hit all the buttons and everything as well. Because if you do that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.